In this short video, I'm going to talk about Bordon gauge. Bordon gauge is a specific type of pressure gauge that allows you to measure pressure using a curved tube that I will be talking about. This specific pressure gauge is called Bordon gauge because it was invented in 1852 by French watchmaker and engineer Eugene Bordon. As you can see in the video, this specific pressure gauge measures pressure from zero all the way to 100 PSI and the PSI is the unit for the black marks and for the red marks from zero all the way to 700 kilopascal. If you're interested to see the original patent that Eugene Borden submitted, you can search it on Google Patents and find the link for that and the original photos and sketches that he submitted. There are some interesting information in that. I'll put a link in the description section of this video. All right, I'm going to take this apart and show you all the components of a Bordon gauge. All right, this is what is inside the casing of the Bordon gauge, as you can see over here. So let me turn it to show you this is the pointer, and also we have the face of the Bordon gauge over here. All right, so uh, the fluid, let's say water, goes in this direction into the gauge. And this tube over here, this is called Bordon tube. It's a C-shaped curved tube that is hollow. So uh, the fluid can go inside that and once the fluid goes inside this Bordon tube it tries to straighten the tube so the tube is curved c-shaped when um, the fluid goes inside that it tries to straighten the tube like this as you can see all right so this part is called the socket this is the socket and as you can see right over here there are some gears over there and there's a spring right over here and there are some links that links the Bordon tube into the gear and the spring and a part that is car called pinion let me see if I can turn this so you can see the pinion as well pinion is this little part right over here this might be a better look at it this gold part right over here that's called pinion and also you can see the spring over there as well okay so water or the fluid goes inside the socket and then goes inside your c-shaped bordon tube and tries to straighten your bordon tube and as it gets straightened you can see that the gear is in contact with the pinion and as this comes into contact with the pinion it is connected to your pointer over here and you can see that as I change, as I apply pressure over here, the pointer changes and shows different pressures over here. So if you have a fluid that tries to straighten your Bordon tube a lot, it would be like this. And the pressure is a lot higher and goes down like this as I release the pressure on the Bordon tube. So very interesting technique to measure pressure but as you can see these pressure gauges are not normally calibrated so you need to do an experiment to calibrate this pressure gauge right now there's a marker over here to show you the zero to make sure that you know where the zero for the pointer is but there is a way to calibrate these pressure gauges and in the next videos I'm gonna show you how you can calibrate a Bordon gauge specifically